Dear students, welcome to Divya's Max Solutions. Today we are going to discuss Chapter 5, Data Handling Exercise 5.3. Question number 1. List the outcomes you can see in this experiment. For this is the experiment is given, we need to write only the outcomes. So what are the outcomes? So spinning a wheel. This is the wheel we are spinning. What are the outcomes we can see? Here we will get the letters A, B, C, D. So, so what are the, uh, there are four letters, A, B, C, D is there. So, there are four outcomes. So, what we can write, the outcomes are A, B, C, D. The wheel will point either to B or C or D or A, we can write. So, there are four outcomes, outcomes are there, we can write. Next, tossing two coins together. So, we are tossing two coins, right. For each coin, how, what are the head and tail is there. So, first we are tossing the coin. When the first coin, suppose we are getting head, second coin also we are getting head. So like that one possibility is there. Next, first coin we are getting head and second coin we are getting tail. That is also another possibility. And second coin, second, sorry, first coin we are getting tail and second coin we are getting head. That is also another poss possibility. Then both the coins we are getting tail. That is another possibility. So here, what are the outcomes we will get? Head, 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 tail, tail, head and Tail, tail. So there are two coins to, uh, uh, um, tossing to that means there are four possible outcomes are there. Here also four outcomes are there. Next question number two. When a die is thrown, list the outcomes of an event of getting. So here we are throwing a die. What die means what we are playing snake and ladder. We are using a dice, right? So dice means what are the letters marked there? One is there. Either we will get one or we will get two or three, four. 5 or 6. These are the numbers we are getting when you are drawing a uh, drawing a die. Right. So the first one, a prime number. So what is a prime number? A number which you have that number and one as a factor is called a prime number. Right. So the number which so taking the one. One is not a prime number. One is not a composite. One is standing independently. Right. So one is not a prime number. Then 2. What are the factors of 2? The 2 we are taking means factors of 2 is 2 into 1. Right. Then what about 3? Factors of 3 is 3 into 1. Then 4 we are taking means what are the factors of 4? 4 into 1 is 4. 2 into 2 is also 4. Next 5 means what are the factors of 5? 5. 5 into 1 only. Right. 6 means how we can write 6 into 1 is 6. 3 into 2 is also 6. Correct. So, the number which have only that number and 1 is a factor is called a prime number. So, 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number and 5 is a prime number. So, what are the prime numbers? So, in a prime number, that are, what are the outcomes of, uh, outcome, outcomes of even we are getting a prime number is outcomes are what? Either we will get a 2, 3 or 5, right? So, these 3 are the prime numbers prime numbers then not a prime number so not a prime number means what one is not a prime number so that we can write next four is not a prime number and six is not a prime number so one four six are the outcomes of not getting a prime number next a number greater than five greater than five means what is the number only six is there right greater than five means only six is there then outcome of event of not getting a number greater than not greater than five so what are the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 are the outcome. Uh, so, here also a number not greater than 5. Greater than 5 we don't need. So, 5 means what? That is not greater, right? So, that also we can include. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 out outcomes are there we can write. Question number 3. Question number 3 is find the probability of pointer stopping on D. This is from the question number 1 only. Here the pointer is stopping on D. This point only we need to find out, right? So the probability of how many times the pointer can stop on D only one time, right? So 1 divided by total number of outcomes. What are the total number of outcomes? That means pointer can stop on A two times B, C and D. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is the 1 by 5 is the probability. Probability of the point is dropping on D. Next, the probability of getting an ace from a well shuffled uh, deck, deck of 52. So, 52 cards means, so how many categories are there? Each suit has heart shape is there, diamond, club and spade is there. Four categories are there. In each category, which one is there? Ace is there. Four category. what are the category? Heart, diamond, club and spade. In each one, spade is, ace is there. That means 4 times divided by total. Total is how much? 52 times. So, the 4 and 52 we can cancel. 52 by 4 we can find out. 4 ones are 4, 1, 12, 4 threes are 12. 
So this one we can write as 1 by 13. 1 by 13 is the probability of an ace from a well shuffled deck of 52 we can write. So probability of getting a red apple. From this figure we need to write the probability of getting red. Red is how many terms are there? 1, 2, 3 and 4. So 4 red apples are there divided by total number of apples. 5, 6, 7. So total number of apples is 7. So we can write number of red apples divided by total number of apples means 4 by 7 is the answer we can write. Next question number 4. Numbers 1 to 10 are written on 10 separate slips. One number on one slip. Kept in a box and mix well. One slip chosen from the box without looking into it. What is the probability of this thing we need to find out? That means how many numbers are there? 10, right? So each slip, each number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. One said one number is written. First one is the probability of getting a number 6. Number 6 is coming in only one day. So that is 1 divided by total. Total is how much? 10. So the probability is 1 by 10. Next one. Probability of getting a number less than 6. Less than 6 means what are the numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 divided by total. Total number is 10. 5 by 10. That means 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10. So 1 by 2 is the probability of getting a number less than 6. Next, the probability of getting a number greater than 6. Greater than 6 means what are the numbers? 7 is there, 8 is there, 9 is there, 10 is there. That means 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers. 4 divided by total number is 10. So here also lowest form we need to write probability always. That means 2 twos are 4, 5 twos are 10. So the probability is 2 by 5. Getting a one digit number. Here we can see that everything is one digit number apart from this 10. Right. So how many numbers are there? 9 divided by total outcomes is 10. 9 by 10 is the probability of getting a one digit number. Answer. Next question number 5. If you have a spinning wheel with the three green sectors, one blue sector and one red sector, what is the probability of getting a green sector? That is the first question. Green sector, how many green sectors are there? Number of green sectors is 3 divided by total number of sectors. Total is 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. So total is 5. So the probability is 3 by 5 we can write. Next, probability of getting a non-blue sector. Non-blue sector means remaining other two colors. So green and red. Number of non-blue sectors are what are they? Green and red. That means 3 plus 1 is 4. Divided by total. Total is how much? 5. 4 by 5 is the answer. Next step. Question number 6. Find the probability of the events given question number 2. Question number 2 is what? We are throwing a die. Right. So die we are throwing means what are the numbers we are getting? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. These are the numbers we are getting when we are throwing a die. Correct. So first one probability of getting a prime number. Probability of getting a prime number means prime number I already explained, right? A number which having that number and one as a factor is called prime numbers. Here, what are the prime numbers? Here, prime numbers are 2, 3, and 5. 2, 3, 5 are the prime numbers. So, probability of getting prime numbers means how many prime numbers are here? 1, 2, 3. 3 divided by total outcomes. Total is how much? 6. 3 by 6. 3 by 6 means 3 ones are 3. 3, 2 are 6. So, the probability is 1 by 2 we can write. Probability of getting a non-prime number. What are the non-prime numbers? 1 is not a prime number. Then, 4 is a composite number. 6 is a composite number. Right. So, this is also 3 numbers divided by total. Total is 6. That is equal to 1 by 2. Lowest form we can write. Next, probability of getting a number greater than 5. Less than 5 means how many numbers are there? Only one number. So, 1 divided by total number of outcomes. Total outcomes is how much? 6. So, 1 by 6 is the answer. Next. So, probability of not getting a number greater than 5. Greater than 5 means 5 also we can include. So, what are the numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers divided by total outcomes. Total is 6. So, 5 by 6 we can write answer.